Put some horn beeping. I always knew this was going to be tight. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm currently arising. <laughs> uh, yeah, good morning everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Today is a lovely day. Uh, you can't quite see it on the dash cam because there's a bus, a coach rather, uh, parked right in front of me, so you can't actually see. But um, it's only four degrees outside, so it's pretty chilly, but the sun is out and it's gonna be a glorious day today. You might not be able to tell yet, but I am in my new truck. Um, visually, inside, it's going to look exactly the same as the, as the previous one. I've got my sign up already, Luke's Seen HTV sign in the background, and if you can see it, uh, everything is is as it was, so to speak, in my uh, in my white truck. But I'm no longer in a white truck. I am in a red truck, and uh, yeah, it's really good. It's a lot quieter. It's a Euro six engine as opposed to a Euro five, um, so it's a lot quieter. It changes gear a lot quicker. Um, and it's more economic, really. But yeah, I'm going to show you now what it looks like. As well as double check, the truck is all okay. I've done my checks this morning, but I might as well just have another look. So, so there we are. There's my new truck. It's a red MAN, so TGX 480 Euro 6. So I'm no longer in a white one. I'm now in a red one. There is some stuff that still needs doing to it. Uh, for example, I need to get some red gloss and I'm gonna gloss these strips so they're all red. Uh, I've still, still gotta get my lights put around the outside of the cab going around. There's uh, lots of stuff that needs doing to the front of it still. So as you can already see, the spotlights are on the top but they're not actually wired up yet so they need to get wired up. I need to get my LED bar put down the bottom down here. And then I've also got a load of chrome stuff on its way as well. So I've got a, a nice chrome bit going along the top. Chrome detailing going around the fenders. Chrome detailing going around the lights all the way down here. Um, so that'd be cool when that comes. So there's lots of stuff that he's doing to it still. Need to polish the tank up a little bit. The catwalk is, uh, is all chrome as well. So that needs a bit of a polish. But yeah, I mean, overall, uh, it's a nice looking truck, to be fair. So it's not bad. Also, we've got a, uh, a 40 foot container on at the moment, but um, it's, a, it's a split trailer and I had to split it yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to split it yesterday, which if you follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Luke and HV, you would have seen a picture of how I split it. Uh, unfortunately, there won't be any splitting in this video because I've got a 40 foot now and then a 20 foot later, which is going to go on the back. But I will be doing a splitting video, so keep an eye out for it. But basically what you do, well, what happens is the trailer runs on those three wheels there as a normal trailer but when you want to split it the 20 20 foot box will end right here and essentially from that point onwards completely splits into its own trailer uh, all the controls are on the other side so uh, let's go over there a second and i'll show you but it works it can carry two 20 foots or one 10 foot it's a bit tight down here this van's parked here but you see that. So we'll just go over here. So the trailer splits off here. The pin, the locking pins, you can't see because this wheel was up, but the locking pins are under there. But you basically take all those cables out, so you've got all your airlines and stuff, put it over there on the right hand side. There's a proper attachment for it. Lower these legs here. Um, and then you push and pull some of these buttons up here, and then the trailer goes off. But I'll show you all that later in another video. But yeah. I think I'm not entirely sure, but these might be going red. If they stay, if they stay grey, not a problem. But they might get red. And uh, yeah, so the the truck itself on the outside is different to obviously my previous truck because it was 
a white Euro 5 and now I've got a red Euro 6. So yeah, anyway, let's jump back in the cab. <clears throat> so inside, uh, it's a bit messy at the moment, but yeah. The only, the only real differences to the previous uh, truck is that it, I don't have the dash anymore because illegal and I don't have the stone guard anymore because illegal <laughs> so none of that's in um, but obviously I've still got the curtains I've still got my sign I need to get some LED lights put in there again I had LED lights in my previous truck but as soon as you rip them off they're, they're essentially void um, and I've got some red mats to come in here as well and one other thing I want to do is literally <coughs> all of this trim going around the truck and doors all this trim here, all this trim going all the way along. I want to uh, gloss that red as well, as well as the tank straps. So that is the plan and that is the new truck. So um, that's essentially the tour that you're going to get. <laughs> right, where are we going today? So and the company I'm doing the work for, I've told them I do my video in and um, they're not too keen on me mentioning that I'm working for them and that, um, that, that, yeah, they're not too keen on me telling you who I work for or where I'm going. They said they don't mind if I uh, say where I'm going is in a general area, but they don't want the company name being spoken about where I'm going. So I'm going to something, something, something limited <laughs> um, <clears throat> in Poland. And just so you know, something, 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 it isn't three, three uh, words long. I was just throwing that in to confuse you. We're going to Poland. We are 51 minutes away from Poland. Um, need to be there for 9 a.m. And it's only quarter past seven now. So we're, <laughs> we're like an hour early. But I wanted to get up early because, uh, well, I didn't want to get up early, but I parked up at four o'clock last night. Uh, I say last night, yesterday evening, which may seem like a really early day, but I started at 1 a.m. in the morning. So I did literally did a 15 hour shift yesterday. Maxed out everything. Um, went to bed about seven o'clock at night knackered and i've basically slept for like 10 or 11 hours <laughs> so um yeah it was quite tired i'm trying to uh trying to lose some weight so i'm, I'm off the soda and soft drinks and on the water so wish me luck right that's pretty much all we can do at the moment with uh, regards to showing you the truck we need to get a move on. Let's put the uh, front dash cam back on. <clears throat> right, let's get going. So I've, I've not got any shades with me. I've got these ones, which are like the working ones that you wear. It's literally what I've got. I've left all my shades at home. And every time I go into a shop or a garage, they've not got any bloody shades. They haven't got any shades. The BP garage in Quicklade where I stopped yesterday to get some fuel, they didn't have any shades. I said, why not? And they said, oh, because they were getting dusty. Why are you stopping there? Oh, yeah, see, I need to put some of the shades on. Jesus, the sun is bright. Right, we're all clear. So yeah, 50 minutes to our destination, about 27 miles away. Uh, let's crack on and I'll see you guys when we get a little bit closer. Right, so we are now on the A27. We've uh, gone past the place, we're coming back that way. We've done to spin round to come this way because you can only get in from this side, um, the place that we've got to go to anyway. So we, uh, we've had to spin round and come this way which is all right. There's, we've got a bit of roadworks, look, as we can see. So uh, the cars are not going as fast as I'd like them to go, but then I'm not really in a rush, to be fair, so there's no point rushing. Um, we're not, like I said earlier, we're not booked in until 9 a.m. and uh, it's 10 past eight. Okay, you're gonna pull out, slow it down. Hmm. Yeah, so um, we are 50 minutes early, so we are gonna pull up 
I've been told where to park as well, so um, I've got to get out and uh, have a walk around and see somebody. But no one's going to arrive until 9am anyway, so I'm going to be there for 50 minutes before anyone even turns up. So, I'll get a break in, get a 45 minute break in hopefully, or at least a half an hour. Um, just relax until 9am until basically, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, once my break's over, I, I might get out of the cab and have a look around, see where I've got to go. Apparently it can be quite tight. Um, I might need to reverse in to, to a, uh, like a side, what, I don't know how to describe it really, you'll see in a sec. I might have to reverse in or I might have to drive in, I might have to go all the way down the end and spin round, who knows. No idea. I also know that the second drop I've got to do today um, is also tight. <laughs> so I'm choosing a good vlog, uh, a good day to vlog doing the uh, the tight ones. Now I don't want to miss my turning because if I do I've got to go all the way back round again. I don't want to be going all the way, all the way back round. We've got to make a left turn sooner or later. I didn't quite tell whether these roadworks cover the turn or not. If it does cover the turn it might be tight getting in. The trailer might hit a cone for example. Cone. Right, 500 yards. The roadworks are definitely going past it. I'll start indicating, let the vehicles behind know I want to turn left. Ah, the cones just stop at the turn in. That's good. And we go. Now there's loads of companies in here and I'm not telling you which company I'm delivering to because I'm not allowed. But nothing was said about filming the entrance, so I am. So, we've got to pull up alongside this blue building, although it's not, it's not who we're delivering to, I might point out. I've been asked to pull up on the right hand side after the second speed bump and in between the third so right here and that turning now on the right is where I might need to reverse into Jesus that is tight <laughs> it's actually tight right okay oh, that's going to be fun getting in there even driving in there is going to get going to be fun. Maybe they'll uh, open those gates and let me drive in there and then reverse back. Who knows? I know it's going to be fun getting in there. Jesus. Right. Anyway, before I'm having a break, I'm going to go and have a quick look and then have a break. Right. I've been told to drive in. So that's what we're going to do. But we are. Completely the wrong angle. I need to get as far over to the left as I can before even attempting the swing in. Which is why I'm taking a very long run up. Lift axle up so I can turn easier. Just got to be careful of that pole. It's going to be very close to that pole, I think. I might have to do a, a double take, but I'm not sure. Uh, we've got room. Excellent, where do you want me, left or the right? Left or right? Right.
just want to get tight up against this wall because other traffic's coming down. I'm waiting for you to tell me when to stop, mate. Thank you. Right, we're here. Just found out as well, there are coffins on board. <laughs> oh, and... Is that all right, yeah? Yep, I'll get you. Should be that space there. Okay. Yeah, should be all right. Should be all right. Uh, I'll open the doors in a sec. Right. Cheers, bud. So I'll wait till the race gets to nine. So... Oh, okay, yeah, I'll leave them shut then. All right, mate. Yeah, so um, he said, uh, oh, we're not expecting a delivery. I was like, oh, okay, I've been told that you are. <laughs> I was like, okay. He goes, do you know what's on board? I said, normally no, but I, I know there's coffins on board. He goes, oh, we've got loads of coffins. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I guess coffins is the one thing you, uh, it's never, never, you're never going to not need them. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here. Uh, I'm just going to relax. Basically, that's all part of the container work. I'm not sure I'm getting out. Um, I guess I've got to drive round. Um, but it's all tight like that. One, two, three. I think there's like three corners I've got to take. One, two. Yeah, maybe just two tight corners. Um, but yeah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Okay, situation report. So we arrived here at 10 past eight this morning. Um, they started tipping me about 10 past nine. And it's now quarter past ten. So we've been tipping now for about an hour, just over an hour. Um, I don't know if I told you, there's cof there's coffins inside. <laughs> They're all boxed up. And they took it out, they took it out the first box. And I looked at it, it was like, you wouldn't get me in there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're not the biggest coffins. They're not like kiddie coffin uh, coffins. They're sort of like medium-sized coffins, I guess. Can you get medium sized coffins? It said size three, so whatever that means. But they're very light, like they're big long boxes, but people are carrying them individually. Oh, the doors are being shut. I think that one was being shut. That one's being shut. Yeah, we're done. Doors are being shut. We're done. Right, I better go get paperwork signed, and then I somehow need to try and get out of here because look, if you have a quick look, it's a bit tight. How am I supposed to get out of there? Never mind. Anyway, let's put you back. Uh, let's go get paperwork sorted out, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, this is going to be tight, I think. If you can, that'd be great. The guy on the left has just said, asked if he wants to, if I wanted to remove his Mercedes. Do not park in front of me. Yeah, he's moving his Mercedes. Don't know if you can quite see on the dash cam. Yeah, you can. The car on the left, that black one. Hopefully, he just reversed back a little bit. Yeah, he's just moving his Mercedes. Right. Yeah, it gives me a bit more room. Right. See you later, bud. Mm. It's the trailer that would have been the difficult part. But yeah, now he's moved it. It's nice and easy. I right, just got to negotiate around these bends. And then I've got to make a phone call to say that I'm on my way. But ideally, I want to be right here on the left. Mm. 
Quite a lot of room here, that's good. We've got to do another right hand turn now. Should be the easiest one of them all. Uh, I say, not the fact there's a, a van in. If you can, mate, yeah, that'd be spot on. What I can do now is take that slightly wider. Just say thank you. Right, that's it now, it's a straight line out. Just go careful past these uh, corners. You never know what's gonna run out. But yeah, that was funny, as I started recording, saying we've been here for just over an hour, although it was two hours, but only an hour after schedule. Uh, well, it's an hour and a half now. Booked in at nine o'clock, it's now half past 10. So um, yeah, all in all, it's not too bad of a wait. This is the way we come in, we took, took a left and put a part down there on the right when we come in. So we've got to go left out of here, left again onto the main road. Hopefully the main road isn't too busy. Oh, we might struggle getting out. Oh yeah, they're doing the roadworks, aren't they? The roadworks just end. So everyone should be in lane two. Unless they budge over very quickly to, to lane one. Yeah, they're all in lane two, so that's good. That's actually uh, spot on, because everyone's in lane two. Right, anyway, we're gonna go back to Southampton now. We've got to get this container taken off, get loaded with a, a 20 foot one, apparently, which is just gonna go on the back. Um, and then we need to go to another type place. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. So yeah, uh, let's crack on to Southampton. Right. 40 foot container is off, 20 foot container is on. Before we go, I just gotta give an ETA to the company I'm doing the work for. Leaving the docks now. ETA 1305. Right, let's go. It does it looks very weird having a container just on the back of the trailer. As you can probably see now. It's literally just on the back. Now, this is new to me, so I'm not entirely sure if it's legal. I'm assuming it is, because I've been told to put it like that. Let's put the reg in. Uh, no, I'm right. Yeah, so um, I've been told to put it on the back, not the front. Uh, it weighs, I think it weighs like eight tons, so it's not a lot. Uh, it's on the three wheels on the back, so it's not putting any of the axles overweight or anything. Um, but it's on the back, because obviously when I get there, I haven't then got to unsplit the trailer. So, I don't know, I'm trying, I'm trying to think in my head, is it safer to have it on the front or the back? Because it doesn't really matter, because if it was on the front, I could split the trailer anyway. But anyway, it's on the back, I was told to put it on the back, because so that's where it is. Uh, Oh yeah, gate dock 20 is shut, isn't it? So I've got to go all the way around, back and all the way down there. 
I go all the way across the docks, which is uh, a little annoying. It means it's going to make my ETA slightly longer than what I just said it was going to be. Because <laughs> it thinks I'm going out over here. Never mind, yeah, 10 past one now. Anyway, let's crack on to the job. Um, I've had a look on the maps, it looks relatively easy to get to, so, and it's only half an hour away, so um, we won't be, won't be that long until we're there. Right, we're just around the corner from where we need to be. Um, I've not gone past the line, but it's hard to see the traffic light on the left there. I'm hoping the one in front will also turn green when I need to go left, because left goes before the right, or vice versa, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're going to Chandler's Ford. Also, my GoPro just said it ran out of SD card footage, uh, storage, which is impossible, because there's 128 gig in there, so you have not run out of space. So I don't know why my GoPro's playing up. Yeah, we're just a mile away. There's a bit of traffic up ahead, apparently, as well. We're only a mile away, and it's saying it's going to take 10 minutes to get there. Green light for left. Uh, uh, uh. I've never gone this way. Every time I've come into Eastleigh, I've always turned right at those traffic lights at the end of the M3. Uh, I've never turned left. So this is new to me, up this road. I still don't know what the plan is for after this run. Um, I'll obviously have to go back to the docks and get reloaded again, but I don't know where I'm delivering to tomorrow morning or whether I'm on a night out or not. I expect I will be on a night out. It's not great. I don't want to be out all week but what can you do? Got to earn the money. I'm hoping that the uh, other stuff picks up and I'll be on something else. That's what I'm hoping. We'll have to see. Maybe I can get myself banned from the docks. I haven't got to do it. <laughs> There's an idea. Uh, I'll be good. I'll be as good as I can, do as I'm told. Like I said, I'm not allowed to tell you who I'm working for. So out of respect for that, I won't tell you who I'm working for. But, um, I am filming the places I deliver to, just not making it obvious who I'm delivering to. So, so we need to take a right here. Got then turn green. There's nothing coming either way. Turn green. Got a car sneaking down the left-hand side of me, even though I'm taking up a little bit of his lane. Okay, we've got green traffic light men for people walking across. Okay, they've all turned red. So I'll go now, turn green. Turn green. Like nobody is moving. Green! All the lights were green for pedestrians, but there were no pedestrians. It's a bit silly. Right, three quarters of a mile away, three minutes, that traffic's now disappeared, so there, there is no waiting. We should hopefully go straight in. Uh, they've been made aware that I'm on my way as well, apparently, so hopefully, if there's any, any cars in the way, hopefully they've all been moved. Uh, and I've also got no idea how long this is gonna to take to tip. I could be here for hours or I could be here for 10 minutes. That's all right, you just get right in front of me, mate, and slow down. Beef eater. We went to Beef eater a couple of weeks ago. Quite expensive, I felt, for what you get. I don't, I don't mind paying 20, 40 quid for a meal, but I didn't feel like you really got much for that, if that makes sense. So, I think it costs like 30 quid but there, there wasn't much on the plate, even for a normal sized person. Not that I'm a normal sized person, but yeah, don't worry Luke. Right, so there's a roundabout down this hill, got to go straight over that roundabout and then take an immediate right. So we're nearly here. Oh, traffic lights. Mm-hmm. 
I do plan on vlogging tomorrow as well, so this would be a two day vlog um, with probably four deliveries because I'm doing two deliveries a day at the moment. So hopefully you will see four different places that we're delivering to. So we went to that Poland this morning, now we're going to Chandler's Ford. What will tomorrow bring? Like I said, this truck changes gear like proper quickly. And by quickly, I don't mean like second, third, fourth, fifth. I mean quickly as in low revs. Uh, doesn't really give you chance to gain any momentum before it changes speed, is what I felt. Right, we're going over this train track. Oh, bumpy, bumpy. We need to go right at this roundabout. And then and immediately right there. Is that lady crossing? Stay in there, so I'm gonna go. Gotta go towards the end of the car park. Anyway, dash cam's coming off now on the front. Because I don't wanna obviously give away who I'm delivering to. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can be in and out of here, wherever we are, nice and quick. Jesus, we've been here 20 minutes and we're tipped already. I was not expecting that. So now we've got to make another phone call and uh, find out where this container's going. So, see you in a bit. Okay, situation report. Container was offloaded within 20 minutes, which is fantastic. And we are now just trying to leave Pentalva. Um, really, really busy. We've been here for 45 minutes now. And just to get one container off, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. Just found out that I am going home tonight. I've got to get loaded now with two containers, uh, two 20 feet containers. One of them is going to Swindon, uh, which is obviously where I'm from. And the other one is going to, I think he said Malmesbury. So um, we will be going home tonight. And the delivery is 8.30 in Swindon, which means that I probably won't need to start until at least half past seven. So there's another nice late start tomorrow, which would be good. All we've got to do now is get loaded. So, if we were to go straight back to Swindon, back to the yard right now, we'd be there at 20 past four. Um, like I said, we need to get loaded yet, so that's gonna be five o'clock probably, at least, before we get loaded. So, just gotta try and get a move on, get loaded as quickly as we can. It's 25 to three right now. When will we, when will we leave? That's the question. Right, time is 20 to 4. To be perfectly honest with you, I can't remember what time it was <laughs> earlier. I said, um, I think it was 23 when it, I can't remember there. Either way, it's 20 to 4 now. Uh, there's a train track, not a pedestrian walkway. Yeah, so we're loaded, we've got both containers on, and we are now heading back to Swindon. I got it wrong, it's not a Swindon for... Uh, uh, yeah, I'll try it again. It's not a Swindon and a... I think I said Malmesbury or something. It's not It's not that, it's a Swindon and a Hungerford. So that's what we're doing. Either way, it still is uh, Swindon first for Harbour State. It's uh, Cheely Manor Industrial State, which is like where I actually used to work. I used to work at SW in Cheely Manor Industrial State. Uh, probably take 15, 20 minutes to get there and it's booked in for our past date, so I won't need to leave my yard until at least eight o'clock, which is uh, spot on. <laughs> and uh, I've had a look at the Google Maps at both places, and they look relatively easy to get to. The last one in Hungerford, uh, I've got to go down what looks like a, a dead end road, over some train tracks, over down a dead end uh, lane, um, but you turn off right and then you, it looks easy enough, basically doesn't look too hard, as long as there's no trucks coming the other way. But I will be vlogging that as well. Apparently there's been a massive fire in Southampton near St. Mary's. I did see a load of smoke earlier, but I can't see any smoke now, so it must have uh, been put out. I'm pretty sure it was over here somewhere. I definitely saw a load of smoke. So 
yeah, traffic could be bad on the way out. Uh, it normally only takes an hour and 40 minutes to get home. And it's pretty much saying the same thing. It's saying an hour and 50, but that's because we're coming out of this deck gate dock and not the other one, which is where things are coming out of. But yeah, so we should be back in the yard for half past five. If there's a bit of traffic, say quarter to six. Um, and then I'm not working again until, like I said, at least quarter to eight in the yard. So I'm gonna get more than 11 hours off. I just gotta make sure I don't do more than 13 hours today, which I won't, because I start at seven o'clock. So I could work until eight o'clock tonight. So basically it's a short day and a long rest, which is good. It's what I need. But it's only Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, it's only Tuesday. Feels a lot later in the week already. <laughs> Which is not a good thing when it already feels like you should be more than halfway through the week. It's not. So I'm home home tonight and then be prepared to be out for the rest of the week basically. But at least I'm home once. I don't mind doing one or two nights out. One night out a week would be well, no nights out a week would be perfect. One night out a week would be a bit of uh, annoyance, but acceptable. Two nights out a week it is starting to be annoying. Three nights out a week and I won't be happy. Four nights out a week, in other words, out all week, I would be looking for other jobs because I don't want to stay out all week. Anyway, enough moaning for me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave this vlog here, uh, or this part of the vlog, um, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Hopefully it'll be another nice day. Fingers crossed. See you in the morning. Morning everybody, welcome back. We are back in the truck and we are just leaving the yard now. There's, there's my boss's truck over there. As you can see. Uh, and yeah, we were, uh, our first stop was in Swindon, as I said yesterday. You're turning right. You do realize there's nowhere I can go. wanted to turn right and I wanted to turn right and he was just sat there waiting for me to move I was like you do realize I want to turn right and there's literally nowhere else I can go <laughs> right so we're we're on our way to um, to a company in Cheney Manor Industrial Estate where I used to work actually uh, but booked in for half past eight uh, ETA is 20 past eight so we're 10 minutes ahead of schedule but it only takes 20 minutes to get there just over 20 minutes so um, we're not in a we're not in a mega rush traffic could become a bit of a nightmare once we get closer to Swindon but uh, I'm going the back way which is good and bad I mean it's good because it like could be quieter but it's bad because it's quite tight roads um, yeah, we've got to go over like a single track railway, railway bridge and if there's any cars or, well, if there's any cars coming the other way, it's all right, it's not too bad. If there's any other trucks coming the other way, then it can get a bit tight, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we'll literally be there in like five minutes. So, um, I'll see you when we're about to get to that stage. Right, anyway, so we're, uh, we're just about to get to the uh, tight bit. Here we go, look, oncoming vehicles in the middle of the road. That will be me. I will be in the middle of the road. 100%. It's probably worth pointing out that this is not a weight restricted zone or an area where HGVs are not allowed. It's perfectly legal. That bush is sticking out. Perfectly legal for me to come this way. But I don't think other motorists expect an Arctic to come this way. How much room are you going to give me? Not a lot. I'll, uh, I'll get a bit of bush on my left hand side then, shall I? <laughs> anyway, it's the next couple of bends which is the worst and then it opens up again. It's not, it's not the worst road in the world, I've driven on far, 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 far worst. It's just some cars come flying around these corners, literally flying, and do not expect to see you. You're going to stop right opposite the sign. There's a sign on the left, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to get too close to it. There we go. This is the corner that people cut as well. They don't stay in their own lane. That 
car is staying there for me. Thank you very much. It's the red car behind it, which is a little bit out. We're clear, so that's the worst of it done. They've done some roadworks up here, so um, it opens up now until another corner in a second where we need to go on the other side of the road. But the, the plan eventually is to go straight through here, through this new housing estate. Interesting fact, those of you who's watched me um, tarmac in, the first place I ever tarmac was in there. That was the first ever place. I'm not gonna be able to get around here with these cars here. Yeah, that was the first place I ever time act. So, always good to know, little tip there. First place I ever time act was in there. I couldn't tell you the exact road. I could hazard a guess, but not the exact road. No, 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 no. Ah, anyway, I'm nearly here. This is the other tight bit of um, cornering coming up got to take a left and I will need to go right on the other side of the road to uh, to make it and it's quite a busy road as well I used to live in that village down there called Lidded Millicent right let's get past this road first and then uh, I'll uh, see you when we get there it's clear enough halfway around it thank you very much anyway <laughs> we're uh, we're only three miles away, but it's going to take 20 minutes to get there, apparently. A bit of traffic. See you in a bit. Right, we're done. Just got unloaded in our Swindon drop. We've now got to try and attempt to get out. I can't make the left turn here, because there's stuff right next to me on the left-hand side. So I even need to budge over to the right a bit more, or reverse out. Let's see if I can get over to the right a bit more first. Bloody dusty. Makes it a little bit harder when the windows are up because you can't get your head out. But at the same time, I don't want to get a dusty cap. Too sharp. Careful, I don't take them out now on the on the swing. Should be okay. But don't take it too sharp. Yeah, they're all intact still, so that's good. <coughs> Let's put our seatbelt on. Right, now we've got to make our way over to Hungerford. See when I can get my trailer past this van. Yeah, there's room. Yeah, I've got to make my way to Hungerford now. I've had a quick look on the maps and um, I've got to go down towards a train track uh, called Station Road. It does look quite tight. I then go down a dead end street as well. And then, um, and then take a right and then we're, and then we're there. This could be a pain getting out of. That bus, is he gonna let me out? No, of course you're not gonna let me out. Right, it's clear on the right. This has blocked the road up, I was never gonna get out of here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. 
I don't know if you can see on the uh, dash cam, but look at the petrol station pump on the right hand side. Someone's hit it. Half hanging off. <laughs> so yeah, <coughs> we um, just got to get out of Swindon. It's 20 to 10, so we're not in rush hour traffic. So it should be okay. These cars are going to move before these lights change. Yeah, they're still green behind me. Ugh, Swindon and its roundabouts really annoy me. Right, so we're just uh, approaching Hungerford now. I've just got off the motorway. Got a couple more bends to negotiate. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I was looking on Google Maps. Uh, I've got to take what looks like a relatively tight left-hand turn into Station Road. Um, it does look like I need to be right on the right-hand side of the road to actually make the bend, so hopefully it's not going to be too busy. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll find out in a second, won't we? <laughs> but normally, if it looks tight-ish on Google Maps, it's tighter in real life, normally. So, yeah, I'm expecting to be right on the other side of the road to make the corner. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. It looks nice and easy. Uh, depending on the situation, I'm, I might see if I can get some footage of the trailer being split. But the de it depends entirely on the situation where I am and stuff. And if there's anyone watching. Right, so let's take a right hand turn here at this roundabout. Need to get some fuel as well on the way back down to Southampton. Come on, Endo, stop. Uh, uh, uh. Right, three quarters of a mile away, just around the corner. Take a left here. I've delivered here. Where is it I delivered? I've delivered somewhere around here. Just can't think where. No one on the is ever crossing, that's good. Ah, right, yeah, this roundabout coming up, I normally take a right, not a left. We're going left. Uh, there's a bit of traffic. It is a good way to the right, mate. Thank you very much. So we are officially in the high street. If you're going to go, then go. What are you stopping for? Right, Bridge Street. Does not look Arctic friendly. I wouldn't come down if I were you. Thanks for that. Pretty sure I can get under that bridge. <laughs> How tall am I? 16.7. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get under there. We'll find out in a sec, won't we? That's the train track. I'm assuming it comes down or something. But it's just after that we take a left turn. I remember that bridge being there. I've definitely been here now thinking about it. 100% been down here, but in my eight-wheeler, not in an Arctic. When I was on the class two work. I don't know how tall that train bridge is, but I can definitely go under it. It looks massive. I'm gonna say like 4.8 or something. Do, 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 do.
4.7 wouldn't fire off. That was just by looking at it. You do always worry though when you go under bridges whether you're actually going to make it. You're going to the left. Right, this is the road I need to go left on. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very, very, very tight. I'm not going to make it with any cars coming around. This is where people are like, what are you doing down here? This is where I need to be. Ah, oh, I've got to take another left. There's roadworks there. I need to go left. Yeah, it would be easier if you did. Yeah, sorry, bud. Got some horn beeping. I always knew this was going to be tight, but this is where I've got to be. Got to get back out here. Getting out should be easier. but I didn't expect this. Go over the train track. Ooh, Down here. And then it's on the right. Not once did I worry about me being in the right place or not, because I knew that this is the place I had to be here. Scheduled deliveries only. That is us. We are scheduled. Well, that is a tight right turn. Right here. Got no option here but to go over that curb. That is tight. There we go. Ah. Private property. We've got to hope that we've got room to turn around in here as well. Should be okay. And we've got to drop the trailer off somewhere. Yeah. Right, let's go and have a word with someone. Right. They want me on that bay there. But I've got to split the trailer first and I should be able to get footage of the trailer being split as well. But I've got to turn around and dump the trailer over here. That's what he said. I ain't worried about lining up properly. because I ain't got a line up yet. Uh, uh, uh. And then we want to go back.
There we go, that would do. Right. Got to keep the engine on, otherwise it loses air pressure quite quickly. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you onto this vice grip here, so hopefully I can attach you to things. We will see. Go, right. So, uh. so I've just got to put some gloves on. Now there's a certain way that it needs to be done and I've got to try and remember how that way is. <laughs> so, uh, one of the first things we've got to do is lower that wheel. So we've got to pull this, which then lowers that wheel. We also need to hire the suspension on this trailer. So I need to hire it as high as I can. Right, I think that's as high as it's gonna go. Put the trailer on brake, the trailer brake on rather. And then we need to go around the other side and put the legs down. There we go. Now, I've been told not to put the legs all the way down and to leave an inch or two space. So I just do as I'm told. Okay, next up. Right, okay. So after we've uh, lowered the legs, parking brake on, uh, and hide the suspension and lower the wheel as well. Then we've got to take all the airlines off. Otherwise they're going to split. And uh, they just get put over here. We then got to press another lever to withdraw the locking pins. The green light turns to red and uh, those pins should be in. So now, for a bit of luck, all I've got to do is jump in the cab, move forward and the trailer should split. So watch this. There we go. Trailer is now split. I'm just gonna come back and see ya. There we go. So yeah, trailer is now split. There's one half and there's the other half on me still look. All I gotta do now is reset the suspension by pulling that out. The suspension will now level itself out and then in a second when I finish getting unloaded I reverse up, higher the suspension or lower it so then that gap matches that, reverse straight back and do all the opposite uh, in reverse basically. So uh, I'll do that in a second. Let's go reverse back onto this bay. Right so yeah we're uh, We've been here for three hours and 10 minutes. We need to get a move on because we've got to go back. We've got, we've got to go to a company I've never been to before called SOS. Um, and then I've got to go to Pentalva. So I've got, it's going to take a while just to get these two containers off, I think. And then we've got to go and get loaded. So, um, yeah, it's definitely going to be a while. I've got the sat nav taking me to SOS now. We've got to get out of this uh, tight area first, make a couple of tight right turns. We struggled to get in, didn't we? Looks like uh, we should be all right. I don't think the trailer's going to hit the curb yet because I can get a wider turn. Look. Yeah, the trailer's fine. Didn't even touch the curb. 
It's getting out of here. Bit of bush there. <laughs> Bit of bush. Hey, look, there's no trains coming. Look, that's all good. As long as there's no trains coming, do not trespass on railway. Don't plan on trespassing. I don't plan on getting stuck either. Oh, it seems a lot quieter than what it was earlier when we come in. Oh, I'd slow down, Van, if I were you. He was not expecting to see me, was he? Oh, I'm going to have to crawl out of here because it's a relatively blind turn. Easy peasy. Take it nice and wide. Tuck back in. There we go. Is that a market there? I did not see the market there earlier. Sure, surely the market was there earlier. Don't tell me that's on the road. No, it's fine. We just need to take up a lot of space. Give way to the right. There's no one on the right. We'll stop there, car. Thank you. Whew. Yeah, that was easier getting out than what it was getting in, which I kind of anticipated. But it's all good. All good in the hood. Right, anyway, let's crack on. We've got to make our way back down to Southampton. Got to go to Marchwood Industrial Estates, drop off the back container. Uh, then we've got to go to Pentalva, drop off the front container. Then I've got to let the office know that I'm available to be reloaded, get the two new containers put back on, and then decide where I'm parking up for the night. It depends on where they are going to, really. If they're anywhere up home, then I'll go home. If they're anywhere sort of towards London way, then I will stay in Southampton, because it's all motorway. I don't, I don't pay for services. Is that red car, car going to come? Come on, just come. Uh, and if it's anywhere sort of like Dorchester way, then I can park up plenty of Levi's. Or south, there's you know, there's plenty of Levi's on all the A roads. It's just heading towards London straight away. It's M27, M3, M25, just motorway all the way. And um, I'm, I'm not paying for services out of my own money, I don't get any reimbursement. Now, is that daft gonna stop there and realize? Yeah, clever, clever boy. Thank you very much. I hate towns. What's that bloke doing on the left? Is he crossing? No. He was looking across. So I was dubious. Hey, the sun's come back out. That's all good, isn't it? Love the sun. Get to rock the shades. I'm, uh, I'm in the process of buying some new Ray-Bans, customised Ray-Bans with my name on it. It says Lucy in HTV. Just, just something I like. <laughs> 150 quid sunglasses. I'm like, nah, a bit expensive. Oh, but you can put your name on it. Yes, please, I'll have it. <laughs> That's just me all over. I can put my name on it? Yeah, I'll have two. <laughs> oh, also, uh, while I'm on the subject of buying things for mega money, <laughs> I've uh, just been and bought two uh, roll-up banners for events like Truck Fest and stuff. So um, they're two meters tall, so basically taller than me. Why is it taking me a new brew rather than on the M4. Yeah, it makes sense because we need to go A34 from new brew, so it does make sense. Uh, yeah, I've been and bought two, two roll-up banners. I think they're a metre wide, I think. Pretty sure they're a metre wide, but they're two metres tall. Uh, and they've got like a base with a footstool on it and they roll up. It roll up two metres high, as tall as me, uh, a little bit taller. It says a big right in Luxie and HTV, my YouTube link, and then a big massive picture of me on it as well. So um, they're going to be at Truck Fests. I ordered them like three or four days ago. They've been approved. They're just currently being made at the moment. Anyway, let's crack on. Let's get our way down to SOS. Right, so our first container is off. 
Oh, that's a bit bumpy. I uh, never went to that place before, so I didn't want to film inside because um, uh, it's a very small, very small yard. Um, so I don't want to film inside and get in trouble. But uh, yeah, we got it delivered to SOS, or got it unloaded rather at SOS. So at least I can say I've been there now. So that's one container off. We've now got to go get the other container taken off at Pentalva, which is actually in the docks. Once that container is off, we can then um, get given a job for tomorrow. I'm assuming there'd be a job for tomorrow. But obviously, no idea yet where it's going. Nothing's been said, so we'll have to, we'll have to see. Cross that bridge when we get there. But let's get crack in. Let's head to Pentalva. We're only sort of 15 minutes away from Marchwood. So uh, hopefully it's not too busy when we get there. Right, that is it. Um, both containers are now off. So we're done. <laughs> we just got to get reloaded now for uh, for tomorrow. I've been told that my first run is up in Banbury. Uh, and then after that, I've got to go to Wembley, so London. Uh, and normally on your second drop, you'd have your container on the front. So your first drop would be on the back, so it's ready to get off straight away. But because it's Wembley and there's not a lot of space to manoeuvre around and stuff, whereas there is at Banbury, the, the Wembley load's going on the back of the trailer. So I'm going to have to un, unsplit the trailer um, tomorrow morning on my first job, hitch it back up again, then go to Wembley and it'll be on the back ready to go. So yes, that's it, we're done. We're probably going to be in the docks now for another hour or so. We're actually stopping right now because of the train. The bloody train. <laughs> It's just gone through, so that's all right. We had, uh, yeah, we've we've missed the VBS. Uh, we, we were given a three to four VBS, and it got extended to half past four. It's half past four right now, so we've missed the VBS. Not my fault. Obviously, I was held up at Pentalva, but um, he said he's going to get it extended again. So I don't know whether that's going to be on the same number or not. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and and all that. Uh, and yeah, until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.